Righto, so a bit of mat repair. This is for your videos, Miss. Uh, Alice, what have we got in front of us? Uh, see the summer mat, Vaseline and the hanky. That's right, and we're using them because what I've noticed with a couple of uh, see the summit mats is that um, despite not being on you know really rough terrain or, or or anything where there's been sharp rocks or something that can puncture them, there's, a couple of them are still seem to be losing some inflation overnight. So you might have them nice and firm before you go to sleep and then you wake up and they've lost a little bit of firmness or you know the early hours of the morning suddenly you feel a, a hip uh, rubbing on the ground or something where when you went to bed it shouldn't have been. So what's going on? Well what is going on Alice? Where, where do you think that leak would be coming from? You don't know? Well, fortunately I do. I don't look at the see the summit site and it's a valve. Could be coming from the valve. I don't even know what that is. Well, here. The valve. This oh. thing here. And actually the see the summit uh, site um, recommended that when you store these, you don't store them with everything together and plugged in like that. Because that can actually warp those valves and cause a valve leak. So you should store them, apparently, if I read it correctly, open like this and loose. Yeah. So what you need to do is you need to apply some Vaseline if you're thinking the valve, there's a valve leak. And you can test that in a bathtub or a pool or something un underwater, see if there's bubbles. But otherwise, if you're pretty sure that's where it's coming from because you're pretty sure there's no puncture, you want to apply some Vaseline to these valves, inflate your mat, and then uh, leave it for 24 hours. Yeah. Um, and after that 24 hours, you come back to the mat and see if it's still inflated to the resistance that you, you left it at, just by feel, really, and see how it goes. So how about we uh, apply some Vaseline, we'll blow this up and apply some Vaseline, eh? What do you reckon? Okay. All right. Small one or a big one? I don't remember. This Give me a look. Small. This is a small. It is a small. So this is your one. Yeah. Oh. There we go. So this is this is your one. So this will make sure that you won't have any air leaks. So I'll tell you what. <clears throat> I'll put some Vaseline on this bit. Sweetheart, can you just check that that is in? You can see it here. Not too close. How's that? All right? Yeah. So, <clears throat> we'll start with this bit. Vaseline. For your lips. It's <laughs> a lip. Well, it's good for lips when your lips get dry, isn't it? Mm. But you can see I'm putting plenty on. Yeah. You know, there's no, I don't see That's any. a lip. That's not a lip, it's a valve. Yes, it is. Well, you it's know. It's a lip. You know what, I guess it's kind of a lip because it's. What? You know. I was just trying to make it fun. <laughs> because your Vaseline can be good for lips. Of course it's good for lips. So that's good for lots and lots of things. Matter of fact, Vaseline's one of those things that really you should probably have in your pack. I do not have it with me. Oh, I bring it with me, don't worry. So there's that one. And that's the that's the main part. And then you got this part here. Here we go. I'll, I'll put a little bit on first here. On the inside valve. of the valve. Try, don't don't clog the valve with the Vaseline. Just you know, rub it rub it on the inside there on, on both sides and the and this part here as well. And I know this is the intake valve, but you know, just for the sake of thoroughness, do do everything. What are you laughing at? There we go, that's nice and firm and it's got the Vaseline there. Now the idea behind the Vaseline is apparently it uh, helps those valves, it helps these valves, uh, some of the little bit of Vaseline gets absorbed in, over that 24 hour period into the plastic of the valve or whatever material it is apparently. And it helps the valves re-establish their original shape. Uh, so if there's been any warping or anything where you might get that really slow gradual leak, apparently this is supposed to um, uh, fix that. So. Um, there she is. 
So this is supposed to fix that. So fingers crossed it does. As a matter of fact though, 24 hours ago, I did some um, uh, work on a couple of the uh, Comfort Plus See the Summit mats that I've got uh, set up outside in my garage. Um, and they are ready to have the Vaseline removed. And then tomorrow, uh, come back and check if the whole process has been successful. All right, I might go have a look at them now. Righto. So, these have been left overnight, having applied Vaseline to the inside of this valve and the valve on the other side, because they're the comfort mats, they've got the valve on both sides. What I'm doing now is I'm going to wipe off the hanky here, the excess of that Vaseline. That's the intake valve, and then this one here, wipe off the excess. That. Make sure that that tank is clean, of course. Yeah. Reinflate that side. Um, and then this side, same thing. <clears throat> wipe off the resistance. Sorry, wipe off the uh, uh, excess excess Vaseline that was applied 24 hours ago. So just have a have a feel of it. Understand how much resistance you have your own air you've put into that because in 24 hours you want to come back <clears throat> and check it. You can see excess Vaseline has been wiped off there. So another 24 hours, come back and check it. And if those seals have been um, fixed with that uh, Vaseline application the day before and some Vaseline is absorbed into those those valves and the shapes are back to where they ought to be, then the problem should be solved. All right, not been 24 hours, but it's been about eight. I think it'll be tested. Now this one on this side didn't seem to have much of a problem anyway. It was more this one over here that tended to deflate. Alice, go over, press on that. Tell me, does that feel nice and firm, nice and hard, that mat? Or, um. We'll put two hands on it and give it a little gentle push in the middle. That's pretty hard. Yeah, that's good. I'll come over and have a little feel myself. That's all right, sweetie. Okay. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah, that feels pretty good. We go back. And yes, I've set my tent up inside my garage. Uh, Yes, it feels the same as the other side, that didn't seem to have a problem. So after eight hours, and uh, having put the Vaseline on the day before, wiped it off and resealed it, and reinflated it eight hours ago, it still feels nice and firm, so I'm hopeful for tomorrow. We'll see. Right, moment of truth. It's been about 24 hours. Give or take. All right. Now... Sleeping setup, yeah, I'll talk, we'll, well, we'll talk about that in another time. Let's see how this went. Tell ya, that is a massive improvement from what it was. It's uh, got the same firmness that it had yesterday. So I've got to call that um, Vaseline technique there a success, at least on my gear. Fantastic. All right, so there you go. I think you've got a leak on the, the Cedar Summit self-inflating mats. Try the Vaseline on the valves. Worked for me. I'm stoked, that's fantastic. That's really good. Got a few other mats, so I'm, I'm going to treat the same way just to be sure. And just remember when you store these sort of mats, have the valves open and loose. That's the, uh, I've read that off the, the Cedar Summit site, a pro tip. So, um, yeah, I'll be doing that from now on as well.
Awesome. All right, to the next one, eh?